Hey, this is Steve from myothercareer.wordpress.com. Now, I haven't done a video in a little while, so I've been kind of busy in real life. I've uh, been doing a lot of traveling, I've uh, been busy with work, I uh, went up to Michigan for a wedding, and as I've written about on the blog, I've just had a hard time getting down and getting some time to write over the last couple weeks, and I've fallen behind on my scripts. But fortunately, this past weekend, I was able to get caught up, uh, and I'm now in the area where I, I should be, and uh, I'm well into, well not well into, but starting on Act 2B now and hopefully we'll get that done within the next week or so. But in today's video I don't want to talk about my adventures and what I've been up to. I want to talk about what are, in my opinion, the three different types of screenwriters. Now this is just my opinion. There's no universal definition for this, but based on some of the stuff that I've discussed with fellow writers, both that don't get paid and do get paid, I don't know a whole lot who do, but, but I do, um, just kind of how their viewpoints are and, and, and what their opinions are on it, and I meshed it together into my own opinion, and I wanted to share it today. Now, the first type of screenwriter is a hobbyist screenwriter. A hobbyist is not somebody who pursues screenwriting as a potential career. They write because they enjoy it. I think this is a pretty small group of people. There aren't a whole lot of people who do writing as a recreational thing anymore, but they are out there. They write. They may even enter something in a contest, you know, but this is not somebody who views or anticipates becoming a screenwriter as a professional. And I think that's the definitive line. They do not view it as a potential career. They do it just for fun. It may end up leading them into a career, just like random things and random hobbies lead people into careers all the time. But basically, they just they don't view screenwriting as a career. And that's a hobbyist writer. Now, the second type of category, and I think is the vast majority of people fall into this category, is the amateur screenwriter. Now, the amateur screenwriter doesn't view it just for for recreation, although they do it for recreation. They view screenwriting as a potential career, and they work at it to become a you know a professional, which is the third category. But I'll get to that in a minute. Now, an amateur screenwriter does not have representation either as an agent or a manager, and they do it for fun. Maybe they've submitted to contests, or not. They don't do it for fun. They do it because they want to do it professionally. They submitted to contests. Uh, maybe they've sent things to open submissions and agencies to try to get representation, but they're not there yet. They don't have representation, and that's the defining line between an amateur and a professional, in my opinion. Now, professional, just having that little requirement, having, having representation, that leaves professional very broad, and I do that on purpose, based on, like I said, people I've talked to. A professional has proper representation, either by an agent or a manager or manager. Now that's not to say that they're going to be successful as a professional. There's people in careers all over the world that are not successful in what they do professionally. But that doesn't mean they're not a professional. You know, there's a guy who goes in, you know, and wants to build jet engines, but he never gets out of the mailroom. Are you going to say he's not a professional? No, he is. He just works in the mailroom. That's the same thing here. There are people who are professional writers who are not successful, and they never make a lot of money at it, and maybe they go off and do something else. But as long as they have that representation, in my opinion, they are professional writers. Because without that representation, you're not going to get a chance to write that big project or get that, you know, that significant payday, which would make you successful. And without that representation, that's not going to happen. Now, um, that's not to say you can't get lucky. There are exceptions to everything I just said out there, but more or less those are just my opinions. And I think some people will agree and some people will disagree, and maybe you have uh, more stringent qualifications. But in my opinion, those are the three types. you got your hobbyist, who just does it for fun, your amateur, who wants to do it professionally, and your professional, who's got representation and is on the way to actually securing some form of payday when they write. So that's going to be it. Just a short video. I wanted to just to chat a little bit about that. Um, if you have an opinion, I'd really like to hear it. You know. And another thing, I haven't mentioned this before. Um, if you see any of my videos and you have a response video you would like to post or anything else like that, as long as you're not cursing like a sailor in it, I'll put it up. I'd like to get some videos or some writings from anybody else out there who comes across the blog or anything like that. Um, I've always wanted to get other people to participate, but as of yet, have not been able to. So consider this an open call out there for anybody who might be interested. If you're starting a screenplay and you'd like to write about your progress, I'd really like to get you involved and have you start, you know, putting up columns or short videos as well. So, you know, take that from what you will. If you're interested, drop me a line and let me know. But until next time, this is Steve from myothercareer.wordpress.com. Keep writing.